Welcome to The Note, I'm Brian. Nintendo has released the Piranha Plant Fighter for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but it is causing some pretty major problems for some players. Apparently, more than one person has reported that using the plant in all-star mode has corrupted their save file, which is a bummer to say the least. One Smash Ultimate player, Zoana, tweeted that they lost 130 hours of progress. So yeah, maybe don't use the plant in all-star mode until they get this figured out. The Piranha Plant is free if you have bought Smash Ultimate up to this point, and it will be available as paid DLC in a future update. Meanwhile, the 2.00 update that added the plant has also come with a ton of balance adjustments. For instance, they've shortened the landing time on Little Max neutral air attack, as well as the amount of time you can't grab edges after using it. So finally, look out world, I'm about to go pro with Little Mac. Or not. Probably, Probably not. not. I'm no. still bad, no. but I'm competitive. Oh, and now you can do a short hop if you press both jump buttons at the same time, so that's pretty cool. And you can play Spirit Board with a max of four players now. All great stuff. Now, go fix that save file bug, guys. All right, Quantic Dream, the studio behind Detroit Become Human and Heavy Rain, is no longer making PlayStation exclusives. In an interview with Variety, Quantic Dream bosses David Cage and Guillaume de Fondamier talked about the future of the company, which has had a little bit of controversy over an alleged toxic work environment. They also recently announced that the Chinese internet company NetEase has purchased a stake in the company. So going forward, De Fondamier said, our objective is to be present on all platforms where there is an audience that can enjoy our experiences. He added, we will of course continue developing on PlayStation, a platform that we know very well after having worked with Sony for 12 years, but we will also be present on all other relevant platforms platforms so no xbox one then oh i'm just kidding i like xbox one got him ladies and gentlemen we got him they were also asked about recent allegations of toxic work culture at the studio that was reported last year by some french media outlets de fondamier said that quantic dream doesn't comment on former staff assertions and as we stated before we categorically refute these allegations what we can say is that our team has always been and remains united and everyone is thrilled about the recent studio evolutions he went on to say we don't pretend to be a perfect company no company is but we do work hard and will continue to do so every day to offer our team an enjoyable work environment good compensation in particular paying overtime when the extra work is necessary at the end of a project and inspiring projects to work on and they also talked to a NetEase official who basically said we looked into the allegations and we're okay we're they were apparently satisfied so that's your Quantic Dream update. Now, if you're looking for some indie PlayStation games at a good price, there's a new Humble Indie bundle that you might want to check out. Specifically, it's the Humble Indie PlayStation bundle for the PS4. Here's the lineup. Paying $1 or more gets you Grim Fandango Remastered. That's worth it right there. As well as Inner Space and The Bard's Tale Remastered and Resnarkled. If you pay more than the average, which is $9.86 right now, you can also unlock Layers of Fear, Wasteland, two directors cut the Talos principle and broken age and finally 15 bucks or more gets you killing floor 2 and shadow warrior 2 to go on top of everything else so if you're keeping track that is nine games for 15 bucks and of course a portion of that goes to the charity of your choice very good deal it's available until february 12th all right let's finish things up with games with gold microsoft has announced the next batch of titles for games with gold in february first up for xbox one is the retro castlevania inspired bloodstained curse of the moon which not coincidentally was made with a bunch of former staffers who worked on the castlevania franchise it will be available for the entire month of february also for xbox one super bomberman r will be available to download february 16th through march 15th and exclusive to the xbox one version is a special Master Chief bomber skin. For both the Xbox 360 and Xbox One, there's Assassin's Creed Rogue, which is set during the French and Indian War. That's available February 1st through the 15th. And finally, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, which was out on the original Xbox. That is a definite blast from the past. That will be available February 16th through February 28th. 
So there you go. There's games with gold. We haven't gotten the others yet, but we will include those in future roundups for uh, Twitch and Sony. All right, that's all the news we've got today. Let us know what you think about all these stories down in the comments below for all your news from every corner of the internet. Like this video, subscribe to The Know. See you tomorrow.